All righty. So we have blah, 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 blah. Dylan Hoven playing against. Oh, so we have the hammer guy back. Hammers is back, boys. Versus. Huh. Oh, I thought that said red, black scum. Red, black scam. So this might be a quick one, boys. Because, uh. That's how it. Oh, let me. Oh, man. Let me get their proper. Um, their tournament records, too. That's important. Okay. Let's see. Modern score definitely four oh two. Oh my god, I'm getting trolled. There we go. Alright, time's fixed. And their scores are fixed. Alright, guys, we're jamming now. We are jamming. Let's go hammer boo scam. Oh, they need a phone, boys. Oh, I thought Ryan came in here just not to hang out with you guys. Alrighty. Classic MTG companion app internet issues inside versus. Yeah, basically. Oh, no, they got to have it on the screen, dude. Oh, okay. Sorry. Legacy, please. Figured it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because they took it. And they're like, yeah, we're setting it up. We got you. And then he put it off screen. And then I was like, oh, no, it needs to be in frame. And he's like, yeah, I got you. And he, then he put it like, you, you guys saw it. I finally got it on there. All right. All right, the real commentator's back. Never mind, we got Ryan now. Yeah, real commentator. Stream, stream is saved, boys. Real commentator. All right. My BF is in that match. My BF in that match. Sad face. Why is this sad face? Because she wants to see Legacy. That's why. Oh, and the... Uh, okay, I see. Damn, standard is really... Oh, jeez. Yeah, that is crazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I just sat down. What happened? Uh, where are the two? Oh, we don't have that close. No, we. Yeah, we do. Oh, this is. Yeah. Um, look at you. Look at you. What, what was tripping me up is um. Uh, mono red versus uh, blue black. Yeah. This is modern. No, I'm saying for the standard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. why it's done so quickly is because mono red just went sideways. I assume. Yeah, Sardines was tripping me up because I didn't see that um, he, he wasn't using a play map earlier, I think. Mm. But you gotta bust out the flex map for top eight. Yes, sir. Okay, 
So we have for modern uh looks like black red oh it's scam yeah yeah it's it's furyless scam versus uh hammer time so this is going to be quick <laughs> really it, oh, potentially man. potentially uh dude yeah. i haven't eaten at all i had like um, i had a breakfast wrap earlier Go get a donut. I had a donut. Or I had I had one donut earlier too, yeah. It's fine. We'll we'll be out of here soon. It's not fine. We'll be out of here soon, boys. Mijo. I'm gaming right now, dude. Bacomita. Let me game. I'm gaming with the chat. Mom. Oh my gosh. Give Mom. Me a pop. Yeah. Mom, bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so it looks like we're about to get started. Just to finish the mulligan for hammer time. Uh, red black scam going first. Shock land tapped pass. Uh, I like this playmat that uh, Hammer Time has. It's very whimsy. Okay. Uh, Giver. Giver runes. It gives runes. It does give runes. Um, it is not the mother. It is the giver. Uh, Hopefully we we see more interaction than we did with the uh, the Yogmoth matchup where it was play one one attack with one one play one one attack with the one one oh combo. yeah <laughs> combo kill you <laughs> dude this team's name is sick team Q I think it's just Q like the letter Q but I had to put team there because just the letter Q would have been weird and chat would have been like yo did you accidentally put a Q there why 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 is that sick just Q that's her team name, just Q. Okay. Yeah, just the letter Q is her team name. Dante Voidwalker coming down. <clears throat> this is super mid scam hand. Yeah. I mean Let's see. Who calls? Who beckons? Yeah. Also, dude. Prizing. Oh, prizing. Wow. You tell me the other match completed? I I don't know what to tell you. Definitely get prized out. <laughs> That's all oh man! All right, I'll be right back. Oh my god! Yo, that was. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no! This is from top eight. Oh, the, the okay. Top eight okay, okay, okay. All right, Ryan will be right back. Dude, Connor is so based. That he was like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. They just want their pricing. Oh, <laughs> uh, Connor's a new guy. Shout out, new guy. Yeah, Ryan still unfortunately has to work too while he's here hanging out in the booth. Oh, this is hilarious. I think this is the team where um I wanted one of them to or two of them were offering to commentate. But they were, uh, they were like, yeah, we're, we're still kind of like in the in the game though, and they ended up topping. Chat, I called it. These guys are giga chats. Let's go, dude. So there's a cheat code to topping, guys. Just say you're gonna cast, and tell the tell the producer like, yeah, I'll be there soon, and you just keep winning. I was about to lose my mind if all three matches finished in 10 minutes. <laughs> there's four matches playing right now. No, there's two matches playing right now. Right, but each Yeah, match. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Are we going to get the winners on camera when it's over? I would love to. Uh, that's really up to them. <laughs> yeah, that really is up to them. We're not going to force them in here, but uh, if they're willing to, absolutely. Oh, wait till the One Piece event, guys. Everyone's getting forced on stream. Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> you get an interview. You get an interview. You get an interview. All right. Fable uh, played last turn, it looks like, and we're we're doing the second mode, so he gets to discard one or two cards or none and draw equal to the amount of cards that he discarded. 
You're gonna do that interview, by the way. What the wearing interview? Yeah. Sure. I think we. I think uh, chat. We can't fit a billion people in here in this room, right? What if we did like the representative for the team? Let me interview them. I mean, the obvious thing is if team RC Denver wins. Yeah, we team. let we let homie talk. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, guys, I think we're playing to finals. It's very possible. Unless, like, that team loses for some reason. Um, I don't even know what the top two split is. It's like 500 and something, I think. Um, oh, uh, PK actually sent it in their Discord to me. So 960 plus 480 cut in half. Oh, wow, okay. So yeah, top two split would be 720. <clears throat> that? 720, boys, for a day of magic? Yeah, 720, 240 each. Yo, me and the boys get to walk away with 240 bucks? Like, sure. Let's do it, dude. Not bad. With that, you can, you can buy two whole video games, or sorry. What? <laughs> no, yeah, you can buy three whole video games, because tax is gonna body you. I graduated high school, guys, I promise. Okay, so going sideways with the Othi Voidwalker and the Goblin Traman token, putting a treasure token into play and hitting him for five. Uh, main phase two, land, and we're going to cast what? Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize resolves. <laughs> I'm back to spike the league cup at Cool Stuff South Atlanta real quick. Yo, let's go, dude. Congrats. congrats. Yeah, bro. Shout out Paul C, the Giga Chad with the super effective glasses. So, uh, Hammer Time player has a great hand, minus the fact that he's missing artifacts. <laughs> uh, so, and we're missing the second white source for Pure Soul Paladin. Oof. It is so close to being like your dream hand. It's just missing some key components and it's really hurting him. Uh, so thought sees here. The options are Solitude, Sigarda's Gift, um, Pure Soul Paladin, and Colossal Hammer. I'm not sure what you grab. It's got to be Sigarda, right? Sigarda's Aid. Um, the fifth card in his hand being Urza's Saga. Probably getting some advice from his teammates right now. Comparing hand. Uh, looks like standard is over over. Or are they going to get <coughs> green recycling? I'm not entirely sure. If it's over over, we can almost assuredly say that Mono Red just did its thing. Yeah. I think let's see here uh, is men's team yes uh, they are playing their top four match um, so the, the they were feature match for top eight so we went with the other <coughs> teams for top four um, but as of right now they are still in it and yeah standard standard has wrapped up so it looks like uh, team Who's on the right? Team Q. 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 So Team Q is up at least one match. Uh, still on this thought seeds. Um, probably a lot of communication just happening. It looks like the legacy player hasn't made a move either because he's talking about this. Uh, taking the solitude. So thought seizing the solitude, going down by two life. Uh, long thought seeds. Wow. Yeah. So each one of those kind of deciding actions is going to take a while when you have three people able to commentate on like what they think is best um so yeah cards cards like thoughts user if you have you know two or three plays and you have three people commenting what they think is the best one it's going to take a while um and that really that really showed in Swiss when we had a round going to time and it was 20 something minutes of overtime just because every single 
action, every single land tap, every single everything is being conversed about for free people. Okay, so uh, grief, hard casting grief with the treasure token getting the cigar to Zade. Okay, so that makes more sense why you did that order then. Um, it was interesting that cigar to Zade did not get picked by the posses, but it's because a grief was going to follow. Um, so, grief past turn, we're going to make a construct token a with the trigger on the stack, I assume. Well, there's a saga. I actually did not see if it was on one or two. Oh, that was end of turn. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. So draw for turn, drew a shadow spear. Not gonna help him. There's a saga trigger. Float a colorless sack. Grabbing Springleaf Helm. There's his second white source. So he can pure soul paladin now. And he has the colossal hammer, which gives him metal craft. Which allows him to attach the pure soul, uh, or the hammer with pure soul paladin. So, actually, not looking bad. His his opponent's board is scary though. Dothy, Voidwalker, Goblet Shaman, Grief, and a Fable that's about to flip. But this guy's about to have a 11 11, 12 12, something like that. Uh, are they dead to Ink Moth? Uh, can Ink Moth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, activate Ink Moth, play Colossal Hammer, Metal Craft, equip, attack for 11, infect. Because you have Construct Token, or you even have four artifacts in play now. So yeah. Uh, flying, by the way, you're dead. <laughs> what, what are you at? 20 health? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that interaction so the the pierced paladin here is a 2-2 and it gets a plus 10 from the hammer so it's a 12 well so what he ended up doing was uh all he's using with the pierced paladin is the um the metal craft ability oh he, right yeah you guys told uh, me about that earlier chat yeah and so ink moth nexus is a land that you can pay one to activate it and it becomes a 1-1 one, one, uh i think phyrexian insect uh flying creature with um infect and infect says for each damage that it deals they get a poison counter magic rules if you have 10 or more poison counters you lose the game so oh so he put a hammer he on put a hammer on the wait a second oh no 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 because no. he can do it hammer causes the nexus to lose flying he would have reactivated to give it flying again yeah i was just about to say that i was walking through it uh hammer time makes it lose flying so he Giver for pro black. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, Hexaflox, good shout on that. Um, the guy only had a grief as a blocker, only one color, so Giver can just tap and, and give it uh, give her protection from black, making it unblockable. Yeah, good shout. Um, so that little insect just had a gigantic hammer? Yeah, yeah. That, that That's land sick. insect. <laughs> That's sick. I want to play that deck, chat. I'm, I'm buying the. I'm buying this deck. I'm gonna start building this, guys. Oh About to see me become the next RC champion. Mm. Yeah, you gotta play standard to be RC right now. Oh no. <laughs> I'll start my own circuit series then. Yeah. Um. Layout. Yeah, wow. That. That's hammer time for you though. Suddenly, you're like, oh, he's he's got a one one. I'm not scared. Oh. What is happening at Legacy? Uh, showing oh, all his stickers. Oh my gosh, dude. Not the sticker tokens. S sticker deck. So you have a deck of 10 stickers, and you have to randomly choose three of them that you can use for the game. Oh yeah, this has been today's headache. Um, there is a goblin card. Mine goblin? <laughs> yes, there is a goblin card that is blank goblin. And... Uh, you use stickers for it. Um, so basically what it says is... Oh, spilled all the stickers. 
basically what it says is when you play this card you put a sticker on it and it is a word or a name adjective whatever um and then you add red mana equal to the amount of unique vowels in the sticker's name uh there is two of them that you go for again you don't you can't necessarily pick which one you get you get the choice of the three right um out of ten if you get one that is delusionary that is the most that you can get in one word for vowels for mind goblin as people call it fan fan name for it because it is blank goblin um delusionary gets you six mana uh when you play it and the second best is guacamole so guacamole goblin and that gets you four mana um, Chad, I thought Legacy was like an eternal format, you know, like expensive cards that are really powerful. Yeah, and, and then you have unsets that, oopsie, this card has a relevant creature type, which is Goblin, um, and it can get you six mana on turn one. Uh, it costs two and a red, uh, and so if you go Ancient Tomb, tap Ancient Tomb for two mana, take two damage, pitch Simeon Spear Guide for one red, you can play Blank Goblin. And if you have Delusionary in your stickers, you can then add six mana and you play Muxus and Goblin does Goblin things. Um, it is very crazy. Every, like rounds one and two, nearly every single judge call was about stickers. <laughs> uh, so like they what, what was the question that people were asking? Is this I allowed? Mean, how, how do stickers work? Like um can i respond to a sticker being put on a card like it, it is so ridiculous because it is a un mechanic <laughs> the the card is from unfinity yeah it is a unmechanic but because legacy if there is a magic card printed and it isn't banned you can play it in legacy um the unset falls under that uh it's very very interesting uh, very toxic <laughs> the card honestly first of all the power level of the card is really interesting but the fact that it is just a rules nightmare the card should be banned on that yeah just alone. on that sentiment and alone yeah, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> poor poor elliot uh all right we gotta call xander after this why was up xander yeah who, who works at watsi call him oh yeah oh i was thinking for some reason i was thinking alex oh no later, not like alex Xander. no <laughs> i'm um, not calling that nerd just be glad that the attraction deck isn't good anymore yeah attractions too um yeah they they really really uh were precarious with infinity as far as its legacy playability only thing i saw from infinity was those really cool space lands yeah, those were great. The Galaxy Lands. Yeah. And the Galaxy Foil. You had the Pokemon Foiling. Oh, know? yeah. That was so good. <laughs> OG dude. Pokemon Foiling. So good. Uh, yeah, neither of these games have or Modern or Legacy have started yet. So. Yeah, and Sanders uh, Legacy's finished. the closest. Uh, and, of course, everything's going to slow down a little bit, especially with uh, some players not in the middle of the game, so they want to, like, confer with every single move that's being made within the little table, but that's okay. It's all about the 3v3 format, right? Three minds. Oh, Ancient Three Tomb. Goblins. Ancient Tomb. Spear Guide. <laughs> Take two. And Blood, Blood Moon. Moon. Not Mind Goblin. But it was close. I bet his opponent was like, no, no. Yeah. Uh Mox Simon, pitch wasteland. Or pitch that mountain, I guess. When uh I mean mountain. <laughs> that was a wastelander. Right? Yeah, but uh Oh lol. Blood Moon. Yeah, 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 Blood Moon. Uh Elvish Reclamer. Uh, and then Expedition Map. Um Pulls on up. Yeah. Can you pull up Elvish uh Reclamer? Re Re Reclaimer, basically. That's... Yeah, there it is. Or, I'm sorry, that's not even the card I wanted to look up. Not this one? Um. Well, it's more side. I just wanted to get this card. Oh, it's an old card. Um. 
off of the screen too. Okay. No, 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 that's fine. Okay. Um, so he was able to cast the, the Reclaimer because of Mox Diamond, uh, getting around the, the Blood Moon and whatnot. But we're back to modern. Um, oh, I... Oops. Turn one, Ragavan. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. We're back to Legacy. Oh, we're just spilling cards out of the hand? What happened? Is it over? Did the guy concede to Chalice on one? Really? Oh. What happened? Okay, we're back to Mon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm. Is this concluding? Oh, okay, mm. no, because like it looked like they just... Yeah. Because they standard shook hands, too, just then. Oh, I wonder... They're reporting. Really? Oh, yeah. All right, what's this? Yo, what happened? Um, the team, team, uh, Q, was it? Team Q got it. Uh, the modern seat decided they would like to keep playing it out for the stream. That is awesome of them. Yep. Okay. Is there another match still going? Uh, the, the, yeah, the future the... match is all set up. Um, yeah, the, the other one is still going. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 we're not, we're not holding up the event for it, but they okay. wanted to just Are they going to, are on. they going to play until finals? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Okay. Yo, shout out to our, uh, shout out to the modern seat, guys. Yeah. Giving you all some content. Yeah, so it looks like the, the match did conclude as far as the 3v3 is concerned. Yep. Team Q took it. Um, but these guys respect the stream, and they're like, hey, we'll finish our match. Uh, we'll give content. You know, I'm not going to lie. Magic is the only game that, that do something just like that? offers me to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Without me even asking them. The other games, I'm like, hey, can you please play another yeah. game? <laughs> they're just like, yeah. yeah. Yo, we'll jam. That's fine. Um, okay, so turn one Ragavan uh, for the scam player, turn one uh, Ginger Brute for the Hammer Time player, and then looks like Ginger Brute got fatal pushed. Uh, Ragavan did exile a Colossal Hammer. Ragavan again into March of the Otherworldly Light, I think is the full card name of that. Gonna exile the, the monkey. Monkey gone. Chat, do the monkey with me. Come on. Uh, and no play for scam. Let's see. Got a Stone Forge Mystic, Sigarda's Aid, Springleaf Drum, and a card I can't remember the name of. I know it interacts with red and black cards, though. <laughs> um. Nope. Where is it? But yeah, uh, playing uh, Stoneforge Mystic, getting, yep, the... Uh, Cauldra Compliot? Yep, that complete, is? yeah. Uh, oh, I thought it was comp. Please don't roast me for that, guys. Compliot. Uh, Sanctifier Induct, is that the other card in his hand? The... Anyways. Um, and Stoneforge gets terminated. You're fired. Oh, complete, because it's like Phyrexian and stuff. Correct. Right, yeah. Yeah. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Swamp. Two cards in hand. Can't tell what either of them are, but it looks like a Swamp Pass. So, Scam. They want to give us more content, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's petering out. It's yeah. land go. Uh, give her off the top. Pass turn. Draw. Oh, it looks like engineered explosives. I'm. I love how I'm leaning as though I will get oh, a better yeah, right. perspective. The only card I can identify is engineer explosives, but looks like draw a pass, make a construct token into turn, and draw for turn. Draw ink moth nexus, counter, saga counter on Earth saga. <clears throat> and make another construct yep okay uh, that resolves pop saga search for hammer maybe he or, or shadow spear oh no he already has spring leaf drum which is what he went for last game mm -hmm. shadow spear 
Uh, Urza Saga can often just soulless scan if they don't have good deck. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that land still being legal is a tangent that I won't get into. Um, very, very powerful card. <laughs> Yeah, just being able to make a construct twice and get a shadow spear or colossus hammer or whatever um, is just good enough to kill your opponent <laughs> ink moth nexus don't have to worry about the hammer this time though not going for impact tapping the construct that he made on his upkeep with spring leaf drum to attach shadow spear to the construct attacking for one two three four <coughs> four i think two three four yep oh five why is it five he also activated ink moth maybe maybe i just can't count one of these things is probably true uh in a turn children's edict uh saying non-token creature so give her runes has to go uh Still has EE. Just engineer explosives for zero and then start trying to deal with the ink moth nexus. Yep. Engineer explosives for zero pass. Makes sense. Uh, okay, so here's still Paladin? Yep. So he, I don't know when he drew it. Oh, he's thinking about playing the Sanctifier in deck as well. Uh, he does have two options. He's getting double white with the Spring Leaf Drum and the Construct token. Uh, if he pure still Paladins, he can Stone Forge for a Colossal Hammer, but he can't play the Hammer. So yeah, Sanctifier in deck going down. Um, yo, let's go, still going. Yes, we are in top four. Uh, likely to see a finals play out but who knows it really depends on uh, the seat yep. uh, and the other game and uh looks like our scan player did blow up engineer explosives for zero wiping out the construct tokens uh hammer time just using the rest of the turn to equip shadow spear to the sanctifier in back can you pull up sanctifier in back yep. um I barely remember this card. I'm pretty sure it's like pro red, pro black, gain a life whenever they do something, right? Pro red, pro black, uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile all cards that are black or red from all graveyards. If a black or red permanent spell or card not on the battlefield would be put in the graveyard, exile on set. Okay, so. <coughs> uh, pretty good. Pretty good against scam. I mean, they can't touch it. Uh, they can shield your edict it. Uh, if it's the only creature on the board, but we already saw one Shoulders Egypt, and now there's a Stoneforge Mystic on the board, so that uh, Sanctifier is probably staying there. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic definitely grabbing a hammer with the uh, Pure Steel Paladin in hand. Hammer would make Metalcraft turn on, or they could just activate the uh, Ink Moth Nexus for the next one. But there's a Grief, hard cast, not evoked, reeling. Uh, Hammer, Caldera Complete, March of the Otherworldly Light, and Pure Steel Paladin. Probably grab the Pure Steel Paladin. Um. Sanctifier Trigger, are there black cards in the Scam Player's Graveyard? Uh, yes, there are. Um, so, the, three, the 3v3 the match has concluded. They're just playing this game for um, content for the stream, which is really nice of them. If that comes up in the game, I will go say something, but because the match has already concluded and this is basically a four funsies, uh, I'm not gonna go out there and say anything, but uh, good good catch, good eyes. <coughs> Gosh, for the regional, I need to just be like constantly drinking honey tea. Oh, 100 percent yeah <laughs> well i mean thankfully you'll have you have a backup commentator that's why we did three yeah. oh we're gonna do three 
Oh, and, and then it looks like he scoops. Food. Yep, he drew Sigarda's aid. All right, which is death to scam. So that was also a two-zero match, um, but that was for the other team, right? So he was the um, he would have been the only guy.